Canadian officials have described the destruction from this year's wildfire season as, quote, unprecedented. The latest count finds that there are nearly 430 forest fires across the country, of the 210 of which are burning out of control, according to the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Centre. Technology like artificial intelligence and machine learning can help prevent wildfires. And many governments and organizations globally use Amazon Web Services to help solutions that help protect people, property and ecosystems from the devastating impacts of wildfires. And for more on this, we are joined live by Rajan Borgo. He is the country leader, public sector with AWS Canada. Thank you so much for joining us on CB24 Live at Noon. Tell us what exactly is AWS cloud technology and how it can help improve outcomes in situ uh, situations like we're seeing right now with these wildfires. Well, thanks, Jamie, for having me with you today. So Amazon Web Services, or AWS, is part of Amazon. And we basically, we offer cloud technology over the internet. Uh, we bring these services like AI and machine learning to our customers, with millions of customer active in the world, like customer like Netflix, McDonald's, or government use AI and machine learning and cloud technology from AWS to innovate faster. So these technology can really help uh, prevent protect and help firefighting and keep people safe. So let me give you one example. Natural Resource Canada, they basically use AWS where they store satellite imagery around Canada on our open data registry, which is free. And government or any, whoever need it can access it. So BC government is basically leveraging these imagery to fight uh, fires. Tell us a little bit more about um, how AI helps to prevent uh, forest fires and I guess there's some examples in uh, San Diego gas and electric. Well, this is a fascinating one and the fire, the wildfire is a global issue. So just in California, since the early 70s, there's more than 500% increase of burn area and more than 800% since early 70s in the number of fires. So San Diego Gas and Electric, what they are using, they are using drones to inspect their poles. They have 240,000 poles and they identified the 75,000 of those are really in risky area and they could uh, cause fire if they detect an issue there. So basically they are using the drones to inspect and detect any issues. They create annotation. Basically, they decide which part by a human is defect, which one is not part. They train a machine learning model. And in the future, they're gonna use the same drones to inspect more uh, poles and basically identify uh, area that could spark a fire. Tell us also a little bit more how BlackBerry Ad Hoc works to help keep people safe. Well, BlackBerry is a Keynesian company, and uh, one of the challenges when you have crisis and you have to be in field fi fighting these fires is the communication. And the different organizations like police, ambulance, and uh, firefighters use different technologies. So, Amazon, uh, so uh, BlackBerry use Amazon Web Services with our cloud technology and a, com a technology called Haddock, which is developed by BlackBerry to help all these firefighters see, stay connected and safe by also giving them their geolocalization. So this way you have better communication, but you know where your firefighter are in the field. We hear so much about AI lately in the news, uh, Rajan. Are we just kind of scraping the surface uh, with this, uh, the potential with this technology and how it can use, be used to help uh, fight wildfires? Absolutely. AI ML is at the tip of the iceberg, and this is one of the solutions that really help disaster not only uh, these type of disaster of wildfire, it could be hurricanes, it could be a uh, flood, which are the most uh, challenges a uh, disaster around the planet. So definitely AI machine learning will help uh, the society. Rajan Borgo, country leader, public sector with AWS Canada. We appreciate your time and a very interesting conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie.